She said there are more Republicans than Democrats, and we can talk about that, but it doesn't mean they're necessarily being affiliated doesn't mean that you're going to vote that way. And Blueprint had a new survey out where they found that 36 percent of Nikki Haley's voters are going to back Harris. Only 49 percent of the Republican mm -hmm. Haley voters are going to back Trump, down from 64 percent in 2020. A lot of numbers, Jessica. A lot of numbers. Yeah, that's how elections yep, there might work. Be. I don't know how Jessica Tarlov does her job every day and remains somewhat sane. Oh, that's a lot of numbers, Jessica. Yeah, that's that's how this process works. There are numbers. So some context. The first seven minutes of this clip was the rest of the five stating how Trump is going to win because Kamala isn't making any progress. Would you rather be Donald Trump right now or would you rather would be Kamala never Harris? Rather be you Donald know what Trump. I'm talking about. In in this position, would no, you rather be Trump or her? The reason that I would rather be Kamala Harris is that he has to depend on low propensity voters to show up, and she has to depend on high propensity voters to show up. She has to convert people to voting for her. She has to get those moderate Republicans. But Donald Trump needs to be on the Joe Rogan circuit or the Andrew Schultz circuit to get people who don't typically show. And that's a steeper challenge. That's my honest answer. I think you like it. You're making a good face. I just can't argue with it because I don't want to. I think the comments, well, that's a lot of numbers, Jessica, and... I can't argue with something because I don't want to are two very clear statements that let me know that Jesse Waters has no idea the details of how elections work. He doesn't know. He doesn't care. He's living his best thought free bimbo life. I'm sorry. That was rude. He's not a bimbo. That was rude to the bimbos of the world. But it's it's become clear to me that a lot of at least the Republicans who are loud and in the media right now have no idea how, quite honestly, how the world itself works. I mean, we've got Marjorie Taylor Greene claiming that the Democrats control the weather and they created the hurricanes that just hit the South and the East Coast. Like, that's where we're at as a country is in this circus timeline that you and I live in, we have people who make decisions and laws for us claiming that the Democratic president of the United States can control the weather. Now the claims are getting even more bizarre. Congressman Marjorie Taylor Greene, a congressman from Georgia, is now saying the federal government is literally controlling the weather. We're controlling the weather. It's beyond ridiculous. It's got to stop. Moments like this, there are no red or blue states. There's one United States of America where neighbors are helping neighbors. Volunteers and first responders are risking everything, including their own lives, to help their fellow Americans. And if you're thinking to yourself, Miranda, no one actually believes Marjorie Taylor Greene when she says the Democrats can control the weather. No one actually believes when they say this. No one actually believes when they say that. It is contagious, and let me give you some examples. If Donald Trump wins the 2024 election, will you trust the results? Yes, I will. If Kamala Harris wins the 2024 election, will you trust the results? No. And I know that sounds like a double standard, but it's not. Well, that is a double standard. Well, it's not. For instance, the voter fraud allegations, which Trump essentially turned into, if I lose, it's fraud, and if I win, it's just correct. and Every single MAGA supporter said, heck yeah, brother. Now, common sense would tell us that those rules don't make sense. Oh, Miranda, they couldn't possibly believe. They do believe. So are you saying that Kamala Harris is actually wearing earbuds? Yes. Yes. When she goes into a debate, take out her earrings. You're saying she you should have see, to not wear Trump her go, earrings. You see Trump going in with an earring? Does that feel like a conspiracy theory a little bit? We're done. Kamala Harris wears earbuds in her earrings every time she goes into a debate so that who can feed her information that uh, it's not true, but even if it was true, what would be, what is the conspiracy? Who's feeding her information? What's the information there? I don't understand why that would need to be something that's hidden. The spread of misinformation, which is 
rampant these days, by the way, has made these these hard right Republicans see Kamala as this DEI conspiracy in and of herself, a conspiracy that needs to be debunked and defeated because the Democrats are trying to pull one over on them. They're trying to pull the wool over their eyes. And by contrast, that makes Trump their savior, protecting them from whatever this conspiracy is. What, what, what is this shirt here? Donald Trump for America, the old tank. Let's go America. All right. Yes, sir. Is this, is this how you picture Donald Trump? Yeah, bald eagle, guns, yeah. protecting America. Sure. It says you're fired, and then it's like on the barrel of the gun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. If you had to choose in November yeah. between Kamala Harris and Vladimir Putin, who do you vote for? I would not vote for Kamala. So you're, you're, not, you're abstaining? Hmm. Or would you cast a ballot for the big, a, the big V-man? That's a tough one. That really is a tough one. Really? That's a tough one for me. I would never, ever in a million years vote for Kamala. Okay, what if it's I might not vote at all then. What if it's Kamala versus Kim Jong-un? I probably wouldn't vote. Wouldn't vote? No. So what if Kim Jong-un is ahead in the polls and you could be the tie-breaking vote and you could make sure that an American president wins, not Kim Jong or Vladimir Putin? Would you be that tie-breaking vote or would you let Kim Jong-un get in that power? I would not vote. We are at the point where MAGA fans would rather allow a foreign dictator to take charge of the U.S. and turn it into someplace like North Korea then just vote for Kamala Harris. Though, to be fair, they're already voting for someone who has publicly claimed that he wants to be a dictator. So They are so entrenched in their decided hatred that just like no matter what Trump does, he's the greatest, no matter what Kamala does, she will always be evil and they will always hate her. So when Fox News claims that she's not making any progress because she's not converting people like that, she'll never convert people like that. And that's not the people she needs to focus on. And Jessica Tarlov was right. It's all about the moderate voters, the, the independents, the moderate Republicans who maybe don't like Trump that she needs to focus on. So the registrations between Democrat and Republican don't necessarily matter. So if you see headlines like this being tossed around don't let it get you discouraged. Please understand that it's a lot more complicated than that. And headlines and these, these big talking points are meant to sound like that. They're meant to make it sound like she's doing horribly. They're meant to confuse you. Don't let it confuse you because there's a lot more to it than that. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to check out some of my content that isn't news related, you can check out my personal YouTube channel at Bad Gamer Wyatt. And until then, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.